Good morning, Ariel. How's everything? I hope everybody is well. I oh, like that good shit. Yeah, I'm Wait, hold on. I'm trying to get this light together. I'm all up in the fucking camera face all big. <sighs> Today is a lovely day. It's a lovely day. It's nice out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know what? I just want to have random thoughts today. Um, did y'all think about that song that Kanye was? She's such a fucking hoe. I love it. You think about that? I'm like, is he talking about his wife? Because that bitch didn't let that pussy mess. She jumped from one motherfucker to the next. And then, like, bitch. <laughs> This is the one thing that females need to understand. Come on. The one thing that females need to understand. Like, I mean, you got a pussy, bitch. Like, you can't be letting all these motherfuckers just rant. I mean, whatever. Like, motherfuckers just one dude after the next just running up in your pussy. Mm-mm. But then again, it depends on how you view the shit. Like, for me, no. Nah. I'm like, no. Nah. You ain't finna have my pussy y'all. Wop the fuck out and all this doing all this extra unnecessary shit trying to get my pussy to snap the fuck back. Bitch, no. Well, anyway, I was wondering. I was thinking, I was like, he talking about that bitch on the lead level. I'm wondering, do she even know that shit? He probably don't even know that he's doing it. Like, it's a subconscious shit. Yo, last time I walked in here, bitch is a goddamn rat. Motherfucker. Oh, I don't like it. So. Oh, yeah, and girl, your husband is such a fucking hoe. Mm. Oh, my God, y'all, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm fucking serious about these motherfucking married-ass men. Oh, my God, I got this one, too, right? I think I have talked about him before. He's been trying to get at it, like, for quite some time now. Um... And, like, I, where he work is where I kind of frequent. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, like, he always give me free shit. Like, he a good dude. And he, like, you know, he take pretty good care, you know, of his girl. Like, he always tell me, like, he did really nice shit for her. I don't know if he's just telling me that or he's trying to butter my ass up or whatever. You never know. But I think that he really, really is. Because, like, he have, like, a really good um, aura about himself. So... Uh, he had told me he was like, uh, whatever. He had came to the conclusion. He was like, no, I just want you. Can you just? I just want you to touch it. Can you just touch it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm such a he said, oh, I'm such a shit for bitch. And I was like, 150. Cause motherfucker, I don't like touching people, and I definitely don't like touching nobody's dick. That that's not a dick that I'm like frequent, frequently fucking. You know what I'm saying? So I have no contact, you know, no contact whatsoever sexually with this dude. So he was, so he was like that. I said 150, whatever. So hey, good morning. So I'm contemplating this shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe. I, maybe. Then I thought about it. I was like, yo, I gotta use a glove. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, that's all good. Then he was like, yo, can I pull your braids too? So now in my mind, I'm going and I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, we definitely could. You know what I'm saying? It's, plus, I, you know I ain't had sex since motherfucking January. I mean, since December 2017. And um, so I'm like, this might be a good way for me to like, you know, just relieve a little bit of sexual tension. Because he could do whatever. And I was just like, and I was like, you know, I was really going to like, give it to him, like, jerk his dick off, get some lube and all that, spit on his dick, open up my legs a little bit, have on some pants, of course, so he can like see the crease of my pussy and be, and be pumping the air and spit on his dick and all this shit. I was going to do all that. <laughs> but then I thought about like, so I'm a pro- I don't like people touching me. No. I can't do it. I no. I just have a girl. I can't fucking do it. So then yesterday I'm walking down the block, right? On my way to my office. So some car slows down. It's creeping next to me. 
you know how a little tight left side so you can see it now. You know what I'm saying? The body was like, you know what I'm saying. So I was like, okay, whoever the fuck this is, a disrespectful little hoe. I'm not even going to look at you. I, I, you don't even roll up on me like that, bitch. And I can tell from my peripheral that this motherfucker was in a nice little sub, so it's a nice little BMW, right? I keep to push it. Then they're going to be like, pss, pss, bitch. I keep to push it. Then he um, said, real. I turned around and it was, eh. I was like, oh, okay. It's him. You know, this other gentleman. So I was like, yo, drop me off, whatever, because he was like in the area. So he's like, so he dropped me off. And he was like, damn. So I said, yo, you still got it. Now my he's somebody I used to fuck with like a long time ago. You know, he's we were sexually active partners and shit. And um good morning. And so he was like, damn, make my dick hard. So his dick hard, so I see the print. He was like, won't you touch it? No. He was like, come on, real. He told me, yo, I get, yo. And he do what he do. He a street dude. So he was like, yo, you, and he got money on his car. Yo, um, yeah, he was like, I was fucking with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, $500, motherfucker. Then he was like, oh, okay. He said, but who the fuck, though? What the fuck, I thought about it. I said, well, fuck you know, he was like, you know who said it. And I was like, nah, you know, I, nah, I ain't no motherfucking hoe. Man, he's been coming at me like that for like a minute. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? You know I like you. And, oh, blah, 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 blah. And, he, and from what I see, you know, on his media account, like he treat, he got a wife. He treats his wife real nice by this bitch. Just stuffies and all this other shit. Louis Vuitton bags and all this shit. So I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, first of all, motherfucker. You gonna treat me like a queen. You ain't treat me like no little stank ass hoe. Although that will be some stank ass hoe shit. You know, I'm fucking for money. You know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> but, so I said, you gonna take me to a five star motherfucking hotel. Um, you gonna buy me some shoes. I'm on my bag, bitch. And I need some money. You say, that ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Whatever. Oh, my. You know, I thought about that money. He his now. I do like dudes with like a nice body, and he does have that. But I remember when we used to like. I was at one point like it was really good. Like we had. Um. Hold on. Fucking mouth was bad. His mouth was like mad, wet, like. And you know I'm a kisser, like. I mean, like spit, like everywhere, like. That's her meat all the way off. Have a good day. You too. You too. Like that shit turned me all the way off. And I'm just looking at him. He talking. And I can see the spit, like, accumulating, like, Ugh. I was like, Ugh. no. And so, we were talking about his marriage. So, he just recently got married. I think maybe he's been married for, like, two years now, or three years, some shit. So, I was like, so, what's the, how is marriage? And he was like, marriage, like, he was like, hey. and I said, what, you bored now? He was like, yeah, man. I was like. Yeah, well, but I said, well, why don't you, y'all need to go on a vacation or some shit. I said, maybe she'll let you, maybe she'll be interested, maybe she will be down for like a threesome if she's like in a foreign country or some shit like that. Or even let you fuck somebody else, you know what I'm saying? You never know, you're in a whole different country, nobody know y'all there, like you do what you do, as long as y'all do it safely. And, uh, he was like, nah, she ain't with that. I said, well, who's that? Get that game up. Uh, you don't know what a bitch should be down for. Especially if you somewhere foreign. So that's dude number three. Now this other married motherfucker. There's somebody else I used to, I used to be sexually involved with a long time ago, hoes. 
I'm getting fucked up. I'll pass my pussy around every two motherfucking seconds. We don't get down like that. So, um, seeing him, he talking. I think I told him so before. We try to do business together because he a long paper motherfucker. So I was like, you know, he's like, yeah, bro, let's do that. You know, you can, we're going to do this thing. He got the girl who teach the money. I teach the sex. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to popping. And he was like, but well, yo, next time I see you, we're going to a hotel. <laughs> Why these motherfuckers think they can talk to me like that? That's first. So I was like, uh, no. Then he was like, uh, no. Bitch. Okay, then Bible. No, I don't negotiate with my body. Fuck that. No. Uh-uh. I just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I block women who can fuck this and fuck that. I guess. Everybody is different. Everybody have their own views and values when it comes to sex and their own body. You know what I'm saying? But I'm one of the real people think that because my business is surrounding around sex and sexuality, I'm just some loose bitch. Fuck this motherfucker and fuck that motherfucker. No motherfucker. I don't fuck it. That must be like right. the seventh graders are good then. No, they don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all, I ain't had sex since what December motherfucking 2017. And that's fucked up. I'm some real shit. It's going to be a year. And you know what I'm saying? I'll be going when I'm motherfucking fussing. Like when my son just getting on my nerves. Like he ain't getting on my nerves. I'm just like aggravated because, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I haven't been touched. I haven't been held. That's been fun. Because you need to be touched, you need to be held, you need to be fucked. It's good for your whole everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, your aura is just like, I'm walking in sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Once you get you some real good dick, that's some real good pussy, bitch. But I can't do it. I can't do it. Somebody who, you know what I'm saying, mesmerize me in some type of way so I can let go and be penny. But until that now. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you for watching my seven people who all were out of the same seven. I call y'all the seven. Thank you, seven. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. Getting the sexual revolution motherfucking going. Get the conversation popping. Especially within our community of all the, so many different subjects. Um, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. My, I'm here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 8 a.m.-ish, bitch. Click subscribe, like, all that shit. Um, what the fuck else? Don't forget, I have my book out. It's called Quickie and Seven Short Erotic Stories. Please support the bitches. Only a dollar ninety nine. And then you know I have my service called Detective Bar. If you live in the New York area, um, you have the Bachelorette Party, Girls Night Out event, um, Pleasure Party, Birthday Party. How are you, girl? I come through. And make it so much more sexier. For more information about that and what seductive art entails, you can go to my blog, which is realsextalk.blogspot.com. Pores. Oh, thank you guys. You know, bitch, I'm on a mission, kids. I can say thank you. I have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't worry.